But we begin with the latest on that wildfire in northern Michigan as hot and dry conditions spark fears of more fires in the days ahead. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Amira David. The flames already scorching more than three square miles of land. Plumes of thick gray smoke visible for miles as many residents fled the area for safety. Fire crews battled the blaze through the night, which is now 85% contained. And 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels joining us now in studio with what sparked the fire and why we're not out of the woods quite yet. This is really terrifying. People posting this on Facebook starting yesterday, so they're saying that this massive fire was actually sparked by a campfire on private property Saturday. It's now being called the Wilderness Trail Fire. Saturday night, Governor Gretchen Whitmer activated the State of Emergency Operations Center in response to this wildfire and a smaller one in Iosca County. People were evacuated from the fire area Saturday and were allowed to return home late that night. Now, as of this morning, Consumers Energy reported having more than 1,500 customers without power in the city of Grayling and southeast of town where the fire started. According to Cruz, what's making fighting this fire so difficult has been the hilly, sandy terrain as well as the hot, dry and windy weather. Daniel Grossnickel and his mother were driving through Grayling this morning and they sent this video to us. You can see the heavy smoke that stretches for miles. Everything burnt. We've seen smoke like it was very hard, difficult to see driving through it. And breathing was very difficult. So the good news is that no one is believed to have been hurt in this fire. But Amira, the National Weather Service is now saying that people should be aware warm temperatures, low humidity and gusty winds in the next couple of days will continue to fold, fuel the risk of any fires in our area. Yeah, really important to be mindful of that, especially for our vulnerable populations. Um, who have issues, respiratory issues. So Sarah, thank you so much for that. Let's head outside now for a live look over.